So this is a solubility graph, and they're actually really easy to read. What they tell you is that each, uh, any given substance has a particular solubility, meaning so much of it will dissolve in a given amount of water, uh, but that's completely dependent upon the temperature. So let's take, for example, maybe potassium nitrate. You wanna know how much potassium nitrate, which is this guy, let me highlight him, potassium nitrate, uh, will dissolve in 100 grams of water at, let's go with 60 degrees Celsius. So you just find your temperature on your X, trace up until you get to the potassium nitrate line, and we find that uh, potassium nitrate has a solubility of 100 grams of solute per every 100 grams of water. All that means is if you measure out 100 grams of this potassium nitrate stuff, and you drop it into a beaker containing 100 grams of water, it will completely dissolve. Now, what we also know from this is if I measure out, let's say, 120 grams of potassium nitrate, and this is all being done at 60 degrees Celsius, well, 100 grams of it will dissolve, but the difference between that 100 grams and that 120 grams will sit at the bottom of the beaker. So that 20 gram difference will be left undissolved at the bottom of the container. Um, in some circumstances, in like a super saturated solution, uh, we would be able to actually get that excess amount to dissolve, but it's a very delicate balance. Um, but the basic solubility curve is just gonna tell us at any given temperature how much of the uh, substance will dissolve in water. And it doesn't really matter if it's solid or a gas. Uh, actually, you'll find a trend. Most solids will have this positive slope for solubility. So as temperature increases, so does the solubility of a solid. And most gases, like ammonia, will have a negative slope. There are a couple exceptions but the, the normal trend is that as we increase temperature, then a gas will decrease in solubility, meaning less of it will be able to dissolve in solution.